What's up guys, it's Hamburger Hit, and today we're going to be showing my lovely vacuum engines again. Nothing's really changed. Two cylinder had a valve rebuild because it stopped running. Now the valves are identical to that of the one cylinder. And instead of being in my room where we are in my messy, messy, messy basement. Lately this is where all the magic has been happening now you may be wondering what I, why I'm showing these again if they haven't changed well I've had I have had something made or I built it something that goes on these and I've been meaning to make a video but I haven't really gotten to it now there's not a lot of videos of vacuum engine with these but that is Manual transmission, Lego. Now I got this wheel on there, this is for later. Just add some friction. These motors perform really weird when this is on there, but three speed, linear shift. See right down there? One, two, and then three. It's not clicking all the way. Now let's put my phone in my handy dandy device here. And that way I can give you a better overview of what is doing. Now, got the transmission, nothing special. Like I said, linear shift. Try and get it to, there we go. One, two, three, nothing really special. Standard transmission. Now, I'm gonna take this box off so you can better see the gears and see how it works. Ah, there we go. It took me quite a while to build this, actually. Not the transmission, but actually the box that goes over it. Took quite a while, you would not believe. Not that it was hard, it was just different. <laughs> I'm sure you guys know how it goes sometimes. Like you're trying to build something, it's like, dang, I want you to go together. And just when it comes together, it's like, yay, it's all done. Take a nap. Ah, go home, go bed. That's what you do. You go home and you go to bed and say, yay, it done. No <laughs> oh, god. Okay. I'm going to put the box together as I take it off. That way it's easier assembly to slap it all together. It's ready to go. Ready to go, go, go. Which I got to remember how it runs together. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably forget. One more piece. This one. Okay. So, see, there's the casing. Not really big. So, here's more just the shifter. Still not good enough. But you can see it right here. You, uh, see if I can't get my camera to focus. Hold up. Okay, so that's a little better. Okay, you can see where the shifter meets. Yeah, there you go. You see where it grabs and shoves it along. Works really well. Uh, third gear is one to one. I don't know what the other gears are, but it's it's complicated because with this on the end. They use their same gears they use for a second gear ratio. So, in a way, second gear is one to one, but third gear is meant to be one to one, so it's just really, really complicated. <laughs> sure, you know how those things go, but uh, yeah. Get it back together. Hook it up to the uh, magic one cylinder and get it filed up and ready to go, buddies. <sighs> Don't ask. Alright, we're back. I got the case back on, got it hooked up to one cylinder. First we're using this so we can see how fast it goes. Engines run normal with it on I me. Mean, what do you expect? Really simple. Simple, simple, simple stuff. But uh all the engines by the throttle right here, they're all set up to where the throttle's all the way open. That way I don't have to deal with it while it's running. Slamming shut, things breaking, it's just easier. Now uh later on after I do the one and two cylinder with this on, I'm going to switch to the wheel, which is when they operate very, very strange. I'll tell you about it after I'm done, but yeah. Let's get it going. It fires right up. That's good. First gear. Second gear. And third 
here. If you count the gears out here, this is overdrive. So this is actually moving faster than the engine. This is one to one. And then first gear. Pretty simple stuff. Now, see, simple disconnection here. Really simple connection. Sorry, my hands in the way. You see, this just goes this right here. Middle one goes on the output shaft, and these two just clip in to the holes on the back of the engine. Now, both engines, there's a two cylinder here, and something else. I'll tell you more about that here in a sec, but let's get the two cylinder connected and fired up. Two cylinder also got raised up a bit because this engine has a larger crank box, so to compensate, I just made the engine two cylinder sit higher off the ground. Because I really, eh, yeah, I'll tell you, well, eh, just run. Run the engines! First gear, get the two cylinder. Second gear. And third gear. Again, simple stuff. Now I'm gonna put the big fancy wheel on, put it on the one cylinder, because one cylinder, one goes first, yeah, whatever. But while I'm doing this, I'm gonna tell you that I've actually been really fortunate with these engines because I haven't had a lot of issues with them. One cylinder, first engine, so of course I had issues, but not that many. It ran the first time I tried to start it, but I had too long of a crank throw, so Eventually it just stopped running. So I shortened the crank throw. It ran for a while and it stopped. Rebuilt the cylinder walls. Ran fine. And that's where it is now. Two cylinder. Built it identical. Except for the valves. Had to replace the valves. That's done. And now it's fine. And hopefully I don't need any maintenance on what's coming up. But now once again I'll tell you about that here in a sec. But first. But just, just listen to the engine rev. It's different because... This engine's weird. I was running it earlier just to get it warmed up. It just rip, like first and second it's fine, but third gear it just goes down just to, to build chipuck, chipuck, chipuck. really slow, but it's just weird. I guess it's the extra resistance. Check it out. <laughs> issues. It always has a trouble starting. Here. There we go. First. First. Second. And it's out. Fire and hope. One. Two and three. They don't start in third, it's just really funky monkey. They fuck to fuck to fuck. Can't get it to go any higher, it's weird. Now pop it first. See, it's really funky, but you gotta expect that because these old engines, zero, zero power. 
Now you may have heard a couple times sound of grinding gears. Well, not really grinding from the shifting, but just every once in a while you hear it. That's this right here. It's not secure in place, so if there's too much power going in and not enough power going out, it'll skip. Just hold on. See if I can't simulate it. See? It just kind of skips out of place. Doesn't bother me, but at the same time, I wish I could fix it. But, now, this is the weird engine. It ran different today, but at first, first and second, it would not run at all. It just denied. The whole thing would rattle and stop, just like that, just like it did. But if it put it, it did that in first and second, but as soon as you put it in third and try to start it, it chip puffs, just like the one cylinder. But today I ran it, seems fine. But watch, it won't run at all now. <laughs> It started easy. That's one, two, get back down to one, get the revs up, two, come on baby, rev, rev, screw it, three, notice how the valves slow down, first, and stop. Again, really funky. This, the wheel just kind of makes everything weird. Really, really weird. Weird, 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 weird. Okay, now, earlier in the video, I mentioned that something big was coming. Not big as in cool, yes, but big as in size, too. Now, I, I stopped the video after explaining the transmission so I could put it back together without that huge gap. And I had noticed, while looking over it, that the item that is coming is in the video. Now, if you look closely, you can see it. If you don't, it's fine. If you do see it, guess what it is. But I ain't gonna tell you much about it other than it's big. In size, and in the cool factor. And it's very unique, one of its kind. And once it hits YouTube, there's nothing like it. Well, anyway. That's it for this video guys, 3 speed manual, I will soon be reviewing my device that my phone is sitting in shortly, maybe get some instructions out because it's really really simple, but yeah, pretty much it, thank you guys for watching, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.